how to calculate the internal rate of return in the TI-83. Let's start. Let's say that you have a problem like this one. They ask you, find the internal rate of return. Now, they give me a bunch of cash flows. I have 1,200, which is negative 1,200, 300, 450, 400, and 500. How do we do it? All right, this is how easy it's going to be. First, you're going to go ahead and go to apps, which is this blue button right here. And you're going to click on finance. Remember, you always click by pressing the key enter. Now, you're going to have a menu and you're going to click IRR parenthesis. It's going to look just like this. Now, we're going to go ahead and enter the information. But before I do that, I want to make sure that you understand something. You will have negative numbers. You need to use this key. Do not use this key. Also, you're going to have to add curly braces to the arguments. This is how you do it. You press the key second, and where the parenthesis is, that's where the curly brace key is going to be. So, let's see what I mean. Okay, so if you want to calculate the internal rate of return, and you have all of these guys here, you're going to go ahead and first do the cash flow zero. That's negative 1,200. If your cash flow is zero, I just put a zero right here. And then you put a comma, curly brace, remember that second and the yellow key, and you put all your cash flow. Then you have to close the curly brace, and then you put parentheses. Remember, if you enter parentheses, you need to close the parentheses. If not, the calculator is going to tell you, ah, mistake. That would be awesome if the calculator could talk back. But no, it's just going to tell you that you have a mistake. So that's it. Here you have a screenshot. You're going to see um, that once you do that, you press enter. And voila, it gives you your internal rate of return. That's our final answer. And that's it. Don't forget to watch our other videos. And also, thanks so much.